when you embrace diversity and inclusion, it brings about higher job satisfaction. And the one thing, the most important thing in our businesses, the most expensive thing in our businesses, is our people. Things that we will see in work is a really much stronger emphasis and continuing to put the emphasis on cultural competency and really reflecting that we need to be much better in using inclusive language, in thinking about how people interact with each other and our preferred ways of working. So today we were talking about um, the practicalities of um, transitioning to new ways of working. So it was really interested looking at you know, flexibility of working, looking at contracts, looking at management development. All of these things are important when you're wanting to transition to new ways of working. Today I covered looking at diversity in the boardroom, uh, what it means to have a diverse leadership team. And what I'm saying is if we don't get it right at the top, how are we going to get it right throughout an organisation? So the Race Equality Club does exactly that. We look at reporting, we look at accountability, get to the data and then educate people as what it means to be a diverse senior leadership and boardroom. I mean, read I'm the CEO of the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. It's been a challenging leadership journey, but both, um, both challenging and incredibly exciting. That's for me as a leader, <coughs> as I was saying in my presentation today, put much greater focus on our people and, and really get us thinking about how do we make sure that we can attract, engage and keep everybody motivated to deliver something really special and we used all our assets to do that. So we used athlete presentations, we've got people getting special experiences, first to see the Queen's Battle and really first to engage in some of our cultural activities. I tried to maximise all of that to keep that excitement in place. But really now looking forward to the to the next four months and hopefully a really special opening ceremony, 11 days of sport. So here at the Growth Through People Conference, we've been talking, of course, about all things leadership and people management and how investing in leadership and people management can boost productivity and help businesses grow. And the real recurrent themes from today have been all around understanding your people, understanding your current employees, understanding potential recruits and how businesses can best engage with them in what's currently a pretty challenging environment for capturing talents and engaging talents. There's also been a lot of focus on inclusivity and the need to move from conversations about what could be done and what should be done to delivering and seeing real action and positive change. There's just a whole lot of energy and enthusiasm in the room for talking about this, doing lots of learning from the last two years and making sure we keep moving forward in a positive trajectory over the coming years.